going to do it. I get a few investments. And it's so easy. Uh, I don't need to offend you. It's very easy. Right? It's not like a. Yeah. It's easy. It's very easy. Very easy. Okay. This is a graphical method to do shear and moment diagrams. Um, I'm going to explain the theory first, the theory behind it. The way you work this is as follows. Let me write it here. That's it. That's the whole theory. Just follow the arrows. That's all you have to do. It's very simple. Just follow the arrows. That's all you have to do. It's as simple as I remember when I was studying the computer programming. It's not like it's not like what you do with icons and stuff. Uh, now you guys everything do with, with touch screen and mouse. There was no mouse. It was just uh, command line everything. For Trump 4 is the first time I learned it. Like I think it's 50 years ago, maybe. Uh, and there they were teaching this uh, programming language to little kids, like toddlers, not the language. They created another language for kids, for, for toddlers, I don't know, first, second grade. And they give a command to a little toddler. Tortoise? That little animal that goes very slowly. And the kid had to do this thing by the one just lower the, the door was supposed to draw with the with the head. When the door moved the head down, it started growing, right? So the, the, the kid said, uh, head down. Move forward uh, 30 units. Rotate left. Move four units. Head up. More and that, those are the, those are the commands that the kid give the code to the computer, and, and the, the guy, the little guy, will draw it with that simple principle. The torrent move down, draw, rotate, draw, rotate, draw, head up, move with those commands. The, the guy put those commands in some. I don't know exactly the details of the computer, but that's how they did it. So you guys are going to be the torrent, and the diagram is going to tell you where to move with some arrows. The arrows are the loads. It's not the rows are arrows. In the, in everything we put a load in this business here is an arrow. So you just do whatever the arrow tells you to do. That's it. That's it. So let me put a very simple example and we make it little and little more complicated, little by little. Okay, reactions, reactions. Can you tell me the reactions? I have to tell you. I have to tell the reaction, let's do the reactions. For reaction, you do it here on a little corner, so you have here 21, reaction at A, reaction at B, reaction at A, reaction at B, summation of moments about point A equals to zero, positive like this, this distance is two, this distance is four, so I have R, B, times 6 minus 21 times 2 equals to 0 rb equals to 42 divided by 6 7 it usually it, I, I recommend you do summation of moments about point b and you check with the summation of forces you know why right do you remember why Anybody can tell me why? I repeat one last time. Because if you make a mistake on this one, if you do summation of forces in the y direction to get the other one, both will be wrong. If you do summation of moments, this calculation is independent from this number, so you get, you get this one. If this is wrong, this might be correct. And then you check with the, with the summation of forces. So here will be a reaction at A times 6 minus 21 times 4 equals to 0 r a equals to 
84 divided by 6. 14? You got 14? Okay, and now and now you you say you say 14 plus 7, 21. Okay, good. Right? Summation of 14 the y direction. You do that in your head. Alright. So now we can do our our diagram. So you start by let me make a copy of this here. So you replace the reactions, the, the supports by the reactions. So you put here your reaction here. 14. Your reaction here. 7. Okay. And then you draw these lines. Wherever you have a discontinuity on the beam or something important happens on the beam, you draw a vertical line. So the vertical lines will be here, like an auxiliary line, very, very soft. You don't want to. So a very soft line over here. And there is a discontinuity here at the 21 load. And then you put your axis for your diagrams. Let's put first this one here for the chair. And another here for the moment. Oops. I'm going to increase the size for the, for the moment. For the moment for the chair. Okay. A little label here. Chair. And then. You start your diagram always at zero. You start your diagram here, uh, in, uh, up in the air here. The beam starts here, so this is the air. In the air, there is no shear force. Right? The air is not able to hold any force. Right? So you don't come here at zero force. You come here like this. And then as soon as you get here, you see what the arrows are telling you to do, and that's what you do here. You find an arrow that is telling you go up 14. So you come here like this. Chuk, 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 chuk. Boom, 14, go up 14. And you have to make that noise. Right? So let's do that. Oh, you have to make some 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 uh, scale here for your vertical axis. So it will be like what? Five, five 10, 15, 2, 5, 10, 15. And it, it will be helpful if you put the units here. This will be in pounds, right? This is, this is a, a graph. That's a graph. So remember, you come here like this. Chuku, 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 chuku. Boom, 14 up. 14 up. Up to here, a little below 15. If they don't tell you to do anything, just keep going horizontal. You are always go horizontal. So you keep going here horizontal. How do you do that? Chuku, 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 chuku. Chuku, 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 chuku. Boom! What do you do here? Down. Go down 21. What is 15 minus 21? Well, you put here 15, uh, 14, what is it? 14? 14. 14 minus 21. What? Negative 7. Negative 7. So you have to go all the way down to negative 7, right? So let's put the mm, axis down here. Minus 5 minus 10. So as you go down, boom. Then, then you keep going here, nothing here, so you keep horizontal. Right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so you keep going here. Boom! What the the the, the arrow tells you to do here? Go up, Go up seven. You can say like boom. I want to hear all those noises during the exam. Oh, really? Of course. So I know that you're doing it. It's good to put these values here. This is a fourteen here. This is a minus seven here. Those are important values of the diagram. Okay. Ready? Ready? That's it. That's it. Share diagram. Moment diagram is the same, but 
No arrows, right? Where, where are the arrows for the one? Where are the arrows are like this. You learn how to do a shear diagram based on the load, right? So what you just did, what you just did is this. You just did shear equals to minus integral of wx dx. That's what you just did with this graphical method. You know how to do at the negative of an integral of a function. That's what this method does. The negative of an integral of a function. So if we, so you have the load, you do that graph, and this is what you're getting. If we make this into a pseudo load and multiply by a minus, we will do the exactly same procedure to get the moment, right? How do I get, because the formula is the same. Look, the formula is the same. You, you do moment of x equals integral of shear dx. Same, same form, right? What is the difference between these two equations? Just this stupid sum, right? So in order to handle this, we put that minus sign in this diagram. This is going to be the load now. The load in all in all the in all the our diagrams or these diagrams are pointing towards the beam, right? You see, it goes toward the beam, goes toward the beam, goes toward the beam. So in this diagram, we just put the, the arrows going away from the beam, and that will be like a minus sign. So you will do like this. So now this looks like a, like a negative low diagram. It's a beam with distributed load, but with a negative sign, because the load is not going towards the beam, but away from the beam. Okay, don't show this to any other picture, okay? This is okay. So now you do the same procedure that we did here, we did here, and we are doing this equation with the minus sign already here, right? But these are not concentrated load like this, so the so the, the jump is not gonna be sudden like this. Now the arrows are telling you, okay, move, move like a, like at a rate. Right? It's telling you move a uh, 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 not, not like sudden, but uh, uh, as, as a certain amount of moving up while you move horizontal. Right? So what I'm saying is this. Let me put the diagram here. Don't, don't do it yet. You don't do it yet. Here is my, I guess, way too long here. This is going to, to, to move like this. Because it's not it's not like a concentrated value. Move 14. No, it's moving. Um, you know that this arrow is like like men. This is just a representation that there is. Imagine this is low. So you have a load that is in, and the, the load here will be something like 14 pounds per meter. So instead of moving 14 pounds in one shot, you move 14 pounds every 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 feet or whatever. Every feet you move 14. One 14. One 14. So actually you go that's how you go when you have a distributed set of little arrows. Is it clear? When you have distributed, so you don't go in one chapter, you go gradually. Going up, right? So at the end, you have to end up here at a value that is equal to this area. And that gives you also this concept. The moment is the integral of the shear. Integral means, means summation, right? Area under the function. So what you want to have here at every point is the area in this diagram up to that point. If I want to know what is the value here, is the area of this rectangle, right? So this area, what is this area here? Let's say this area here is, let's call it A1, is equal 14 times 2, 28. 
so this if this is here let's gonna put what is my number? 10 20 30 it's gonna be what what did i say 20 what 28 so i'm gonna put the labels here this is the moment diagram the units are gonna be pounds pounds times foot feet and this is 0 10 20 30 so on this one you start at 0 always start at 0 and here you go you have to go all the way to 28 so that will be over here and you go gradually at a rate of at a rate of 14 whatever is this for every foot that you move in this direction. So if you move one foot will be 14, another foot will be 28, but you go gradually, you go gradually, not in, not in, in, in vertical jumps. Boom. And you arrive at the value 28. You put that value right there, 28, right? Now, what are the arrows telling you to do? Go down gradually at a rate of seven, seven, going down at a rate of seven. Every every foot you, you move down seven. One, seven, one, seven, one, seven, one, seven, one, seven. But you go down gradually because this is not just every every foot, but every millimeter you have to keep going down at, a, at this rate. This is this is the slope, this seven is the slope of this line. And the slope is the same everywhere, so this is a straight line with the same slope. The slope is 7, minus 7. What is the area of this? 7 times 48. 28. So if you do this area, let's call it here, area 2 will be minus 7 times 4, so it will be minus 28. So 28 minus 28, you end up at zero, right? And you go down with a constant slope, something like that. And this is another concept that you can get from here. Is this is the integral of this? This is the derivative of this, right? Right? So that's what this means that the values here are the, the derivative of this. The first derivative is the slope, right? So the slope of this line is minus 7. Look, why is 28 divided by 4? 7, right? And it's negative, so that's this number. What is 28 divided by 2? 14. That's this number here. So uh, uh, that will help you do the diagrams also. But if you just follow the arrows, you, you get it. But that will help you to see if you are doing the things okay. The value here is the slope here. The value here is the slope here. All right. That's it. Can we go on? So, what do you mean in English? Well, the numbers make you go to zero because you go here, 28 going up. So, you go up to 28. 7 times 4 is. 28, so you go down 28, what is 28 minus 28? Zero, you end up at zero here because the number, this area is equal to one, so you end up here, right? And you see how this diagram is the area under this graph? Because if you get this area minus this area, you get zero, that right? you have to end up at zero. What is this area? 14 times two, 28, so that's this number, all this area. If you want the value here, well, take the area of this little part here. 14 of 1 will be 14, so here is 14, right? Right in the middle. All right? No questions, no nothing, so wonderful. No integrals, not anything. And this is wonderful for many loads because you can have many loads, so you just keep going up, down, up, up, down, up, down, and, and just going like a, like a toddler in the computer program of a toddler. Very easy. Second, third, third, third grader level. Hmm? 
I was just wondering, so with a no. triangular load, what? With a triangular load. Yeah, no, yes, of course. We're gonna do triangles, parabolas, ellipses, everything. Yeah, let's go. Let's. They are. I love that. You are eager for more. Okay, let's give you more. Next. How about this one? It's a little more complicated. No triangular yet because it's tough. But it's still easy. Just follow the arrows. Follow the arrows. Okay, reaction. Uh, I don't want to spend the, the class calculating reactions. You already know how to do it, right? So let me copy the reactions here. Um, you calculate those reactions on your own, and if it's not right, you call me and say, you made a mistake. Okay. I believe this reaction is 18. And I believe this reaction here at point B is 26. Can somebody at least check if this vertical equilibrium is good? So going down, I have 20 plus 12 plus 1.5 times 8 is 12. So 44. 44. And the other, the reactions are 16 by 26 and 6 by 20. 44. Huh? It, looks, it looks in equilibrium, right? All right. So you have to do your, your lines for the for the diagram, you put your labels, cheer, you can see cheer of x, and the units are kips. So what do you have to do? What do you have to do? What? So you're going to give up 18. Right, no, you go to boom, 18. Go. So I'm not gonna go 18, then I go down 20, I go down 12, so over here I need up to, up to, up to at least 20, I'm gonna do 10, 20. For my diagram, I'm gonna do here my, my scale, um, 10, um, every four is 10, 10. So this is 10. 20. I'm going down with mm -hmm, mm -hmm. minus 10, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. minus 20, more or less. Okay, so good. So you go, so you got it, right? Chuku, 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 chuku. Boom, 18. So this will be 18 like over here, 18. If there is no loads, what do you do? You keep horizontal, right? And you put this value here, 18, important value, and then boom, you go down minus 20. So you, you do those, those calculations here on the side, 18 minus, 18 minus 20 equals minus 2. So now you will go down uh, all the way to minus 2. Oh, the, you could do the whistle here, but I cannot whistle like that. Right? Minus 2. Right? Minus two, you put that value here. N nothing else, so you keep going horizontal. Boom, minus 12. So minus two, minus 12, minus 14, right? So minus 14 is like over here, more or less. Minus 14. So now you keep going. Boom. Plus 26. So you calculate here minus 14 plus 26. Uh, what is that? Uh, 12. 12 positive. So, oh, I cannot whistle going up. 12 over here. Over here. Over here, 12. And now you go down at a right, right? With the slope, the slope of 1.5. And 
and uh, well is 1.5 times 8 because that will be the whole the whole uh, amount of all these arrows will be 1.5 keeps for 8 uh, this is 12 right and see from 12 minus 12 you have to end up at 0 and this is all the arrows are on the same magnitude so you have to keep going down at the same rate the whole time right Zero. So you go here minus ah uh, I mean twelve minus twelve equals zero. Check. You have to end up always at zero. If you don't end up at zero, you made a mistake calculating the reactions, but you made a mistake if you did it. But I don't think you will make mistakes in the diagram, you just one of the arms. Another more complicated, more complicated, another more complicated. This is too easy. Oh no, wait, moment diagram, moment diagram. So let's put the arrows. I'm gonna put, I'm not gonna put so many because it's kind of tiresome, right? And after a while, you don't put any arrows anymore, right? You just imagine them over there. And you start also to play with the fact that this, this diagram is the slope of this one. You play a lot with that concept. This, di this diagram is the slope of the diagram that you're going to go to, to do here. Instead of following the arrows, but following the arrows works. Moment of x, the units are... Uh, uh, oh, I have an error here, right? This is not keep speed, this is just keep. Sure, it just keeps. Moment is keep speed. Yeah, sorry. What happened, Daniel? Mm -hmm. You didn't tell me anything. No, no. <laughs> keeps. Oh, we're losing him. So this is keeps feet. And, um, and, and let's see. So at the beginning, because you're going to start getting, getting up here at a, with a slope of, of 18, right? And you have to end up here at a point that is the area of this rectangle, right? So let's calculate that area. So you put here something like Area one, area one equals 18 times six. Huh? What is 18 times six? One what? One away. You know the ten, ten tables of 18? Oh, you did, okay, 18. So you know that, oh, 118, so I have to put lines all the way to 100, so let's say this is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, so 108 will be like over here, so over here. So, so I have to get all the way to that point over there, right? in a straight line because the slope the slope here is constant so this has constant slope all right nice and after a while you start liking more the slope and the thing than the chuku chuku right and the chuku chuku makes you thirsty. So here I have to go with a little slope going down negative right to a point here that is whatever I have up to here minus this area. So what is that area? That area let's call it A2. A2 equals to minus 2 times 8. So that will be minus 16. Right? 
So what? And you keep you keep doing your your uh, accounting here. One o eight minus sixteen equals. Uh, 92? 92? 92, right? Yeah. 92. So 92 is going to be like over here. And you go with a constant slope. All the way to 92. And you put that value right there. 92. And this is 108. I'm going to tell you during the exam. Draw the shear diagram and the moment diagram and um, put the salient values of the diagram. That means when I say salient values or the important values, it means to put those values, those values that describe your diagram. And I tell you, you have to have calculations that support your, your drawing. So that means those, these silly numbers, you have to put them there. You can go to the diagram and put these numbers because usually you do this in your calculator and keep going. But I am, as a teacher, I need to see that you did it, right? Next, area three. This area three, this area three is equal to 14 times 10. So, one, ne negative, yes, negative 140, right? Mm -hmm. So now you have to go from 92 minus 140 to get minus 48. Minus 48. And, and, and those who have been doing it on the calculator, you see that the number that you have from the last, you keep using it. You don't have to type it because you keep using it. You just do two minus two, two minus something, two plus something. If you don't erase the previous number, is the one that you need for the next calculation. Minus 42. Oh, I have two, two here, minus 20, minus 40, minus 60. So minus 48 will be somewhere over here, close to minus 50. Minus 48 will be somewhere over here. And then I will draw a line, straight line, like that. Now what? Now what? Okay, this part here. What do you do? Again, it's not, it's not a, a chart because it's not a concentrated load. It's distributed, so you have to go up gradually. But you go gradually faster going up at the beginning and then slower, slower, slower until uh, at this point you should go horizontal because the top here is zero, right? So how do you do that? You start, I'm gonna do it here on the side. Just look, this is a high slope, right? And I'm going, this is like this, this number here, a high slope. And then the slope, he starts to go down, down. So the slope going down is like going down, 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 down. And at the end, horizontal. At this point is zero, so at this point is horizontal. See, a lot of slope, 12, see? Tremendous slope, 12. Have you seen a slope of 20? And then reduce the slope, reduce, reduce the slope, and you end up horizontal because the slope here is C. So put that in here, and let's check. This is, oh, what is this value here? Minus 48. Minus 48. And what is the area of the, of the triangle? Let's see the area 4. Uh, Let's see what is area four. Area four is equal to one half of 12 times eight. 48. So you end up at zero. So you know you have to end up here, right? 
So uh, you start in minus 48 with a big slope and then reduce, 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 reduce until you end up horizontal at the end. Like it? I, I didn't have the time to point back. That's okay. All right. So at the end, you say uh, minus 48 plus A4 equals to zero. Check. Nice. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. See, you be a little careful. It's not always this easy as a little thing eventually. I will put a little, a little more complications, uh, but but that's the principle is that just follow the arrows and then if you if you want to follow the arrows it is the same right you have orders going up so you have to go up gradually gradually and now you have to go up but not so fast okay go up but not so fast and here at the end you don't go up anymore because no 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 arrows so you have to end up horizontally here okay that's how you get that curvature you don't do like this because if you do like this, it means that you have horizontal slope here, means zero value here, but here is not zero, so it cannot be horizontal here. It's horizontal only when this is zero. Mm -hmm. So the triangle is flipped, yeah, right, and it's go up like that? Right, right, right. Whatever the arrows tell you to do. Yeah. Let's do a little, a little example here. Let's say you said, uh, Let's put it here on this side. You want a, a triangle like this, like that. So, well, you don't necessarily start at zero. You, don't, you come from, from a diagram that comes at any value. So you, so you are here. And now what do you do? Oh, zero slope here, right? Zero slope here. So you start horizontal. And then the slope starts to increase, increase, increase. So, and you, you have to start going up faster and faster and faster and faster. That's how you treat this triangle. Right? Okay, another example. Okay, let's do... How, how do you deal with a concentrated moment? So you're going to have concentrated moment. You're going to have like a jump in the moment diagram. Right? These are concentrated loads that you have a, a jump, a chart going up or down in the cheer diagram. In the moment diagram, it means that you are going to go sharply up or down. Okay, reactions. Look, the, the vertical reaction is 15 minus 30. Oh, this is 30, 30. Sorry, sorry, this is 20. Sorry, this is 20. This is 20, not 30, but 20 here. Yeah. So why I put 30? 10, 30, 20, 10, 30, 20. 10, 30, 20. 20. 20. 20, 20, 20. Sorry, it's 20. So I can use my numbers here. Look, the summation of forces, the summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero, positive going up, positive going up, so you have Rb plus 15 minus 30 minus 20, that's it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, equals to zero, so Rb equals to 20 plus 30, 50, minus 15, 35, positive, so I got it correct, positive, 35, all right, and the moment, summation of moments about any point is to at B equals to zero, I'm going to say positive in this direction. So I have moment at B uh, minus 15 times 2.5 uh, plus 10 
plus 10 uh, plus 30 times 1 plus 20 times 1 equals to 0 Tw what? 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 see that's the near back then mb equals to so this 15 times 25 what did you get there? Hmm? 12.5 hey, pos positive or negative? 12.5 so, so it's, it's, it's wrong, it's wrong, right? I have it in the wrong direction. So I, I put here like a little mark, and this is actually like this 12.5 in this direction, right? Is that, is that a negative moment or a positive moment? Why? Because the beam is sad, right? If you, if you bend this beam with this moment, it's going to go like this. This is positive or negative? Hmm? Huh? Is it sad or happy? Sad. Yeah. It's better now. Right, right, right. This is not an internal force. It's external load, right? Like, like these loads, right? It's external, it's like, because due to this moment, this goes like this, right? Yeah. So, so, so it's not sad, not right. It's external moment, not internal moment. Okay. Um, diagrams, diagrams, I don't know what I'm thinking here. Diagrams, let's do your, your lines. Let's put it over here. Uh, uh, at the beginning it's going to go up 15, so probably it's not going to go higher than 15. The rest goes down, down, and then goes back to zero. See, see what I'm doing here really quickly? You do the diagram in your head so quickly, look. I'm going to go 15 up, and then go down, and then go down, and then go up to zero, right? So the highest value we give is 15 in order to see to see how, how low I, I draw this line. I don't need much space at go of this line because I only have to go all the way to 15. So I'm going to do here, um, I, I, I'm talking about the chair. I'm going to, what, I, what I was doing here is, okay, where, where shall I put the line? Here or here oh. in order to draw the, 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 the diagram. So now I know that it's going, I'm going to need 15 units going up and that's it, they're going still going down. So 15 here, so I'm going to do 10, uh, 5, 10, 15, every 5 one line every five so it will be maybe it's too little maybe it's too little ah let's do it like that and this with these machines you just can increase the size or decrease the, the size at will so easy so this will be uh 5 10 15 and this is the Shear diagram, the units are kilonewtons, and then you start with your chuku chuku, right? You come here, and you go up 15, right? Zero, zero, chuku 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 chuku, boom, 15. And then, hmm, go all the way up to 15. So you go up to 15 here, 15. And now, if there is no loads, then you go zero, 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 zero. And you pass this point because this is not load, this is moment. So you keep going all the way up to here. And then boom, go, go down. And then boom, go down 15 minus 30, minus 15. I know that one. minus 15 and plus 15 here and this is in 5 10 15 minus 5 minus 15 minus 10 okay keep going to go horizontal right no more roads here so 
horizontal here, not, not those, and then you go down 20. So keep going, 15. Boom, minus 20. So 5, 10, 5, 5, 10, 15, 20. So you have, oh, 15, you have here 15 minus 30, minus 15. Now minus 15, minus 20, minus 35, right? So this is 35. Is it 20, 25, 30, 35, minus 35. So this is minus 35, and you put it here, minus 35, and you keep going, chuku, 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 boom. Look, 35 up, right? Mm -hmm. 35 up here on the reactions. So 35 minus 35 plus 35 equals to zero. Zero. All right. And, and to tell you the truth, I don't use much the arrows on this diagram. I tell you because it's, it's helpful if you get confused. But I personally use more the concept of the slope. That this diagram is less slope of this one. So here I'm gonna start with a positive slope, constant slope, so I go like this. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stop here because here I have a discontinuity. So I'm gonna move up to here and see what happens there. So this area is 15 times one. So 15, right? So let me put the scale for the, for the moment. For the moment, I'm gonna put the line like over here. So this is 10. 12, 14, this is 16, so this is like 4, and this is moment, and the units are kilonewton meters. So um, I'm going to go all the way to the first area, I'm going to call it here, I'm going to break it here, and this is a1, this is A2. A1 is equal to 15 times 1, 15. So I have to go up all the way to 15. 4, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, Fifteen. Put the value there. Fifteen. Okay. Now you have your concentrated moment here. So you just have to memorize this. I'm sorry. If the moment, the concentrated moment, is counterclockwise, you go down. If it's clockwise, you go up. Is that because it's making a positive? If you make a cut and then and you analyze, all oh, right, I put this one, this is going to become more negative or more positive depending on, on the direction, right? If you make a cut, you will see it. But you can, uh, there is a, like a memo thing, you, you guys have seen a, a kitchen, right? Have you ever seen a kitchen? You have a kitchen at your home? Yeah, everybody has a kitchen at home, right? So, so in, in the kitchen, in the kitchen, there is always a clock here, there is always a clock here, right? And, yeah, and it, there is a counter where you have your, your, your blender, right, and, and, and your staff to, to cook, right? The, the counter here, and the clock. The clock is above and the counter is below, right? So if the moment is counter, you go down, if the Moment is clockwise, the clock is above, so you go up. Do you remember that? That will, that will help you remember, right? You could not see a picture. <laughs> 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 your, your husband do all the cooking? Yeah, I believe you. <laughs> your boyfriend. Poor man doing the cooking and the laundry and everything. 
Okay, so you go down the amount that is showing the thing. So you go down, uh, 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 the counter is below, so you go down 10. So you put here 15 minus 10 equals 5. So you go down up to 5, up to here. And now you continue. You keep going up because you, if you put the arrows, you are welcome to put the arrows so you know that here to go up. But you know this is a positive slope, so this has to go positive slope. And the slope here is the same as here, so it's the same slope that you had here. You keep going on with the same slope. And area 2 is 0 0.5 times 15, so it's 7.5, right? Area. Yeah. Area 2 is equal to 15 times 0 0.5, so it's equal to 7.5. So now you go from 5 plus 7.5, uh, 12.5. So you have to go all the way to 12.5. That's 12, 14, so over here. You put the point and you draw the line. And the point that you reach over there is 12.5. Twelve point five. Now what? Now you now you start um, negative slope, and you go down all the way to a point given by this area. This called area three. Area three. Area three is equal to minus fifteen times point five, so minus seven point five. So you have 12.5 minus 7.5, right? So you get 5, 5. So you go down all the way to 5. That would be over here, 2, 4, 6. So 5 is over here. So you draw your line going down with negative slope like this. And this is 5. And now you have this area 4 is so big. This area 4 equals to minus 35 times 0 0.5. Is what is half of 35? 17.5. Negative. So you are at 5 minus 17.5 equals to minus 12.5. Minus 12.5. Okay, so let's go down to minus 12.5. Oh, I have to put all these little lines. So, um, 2, 4, 6, 8, minus 10. This is minus 12, minus 14. So it will be like over here, somewhere over here. And you draw your line. And your value down here is minus 12.5, right? And, and here you have a moment that is clockwise, right? Mm -hmm. So it's going up and down. The clock is above. So go up. And look, minus 12.5 plus 12.5, boom, zero. You, you deserve a happy face. Zero. Actually, that zero should be a happy face, right?